How y'all doing? I want to welcome y'all to Strawberry Space, where we discuss transgender related topics. Strawberry Space, listen, I have definitely got to tell you, this new show, Queen of the Universe, is my favorite. You know, we are discussing the T sector of everything T in the LGBT community and Giselle Barbie Royale. Let's discuss her being on this new show streaming on Paramount Plus, Queen of the Universe. You know, we uh, briefly touched on Monica Beverly Hills being on Paramount Plus with All Stars Drag Race. Um, season 8 but season 1 was good but season 2 oh they really didn't kicked it off so let's get in and dive into everything um, so first of all I can't really play anything I know I'm the queen of clips here uh, and I need y'all to get y'all you know buffet because we're going to get these topics together but it's just the fact that YouTube has um, not only blocked they have just, just <laughs> they didn't see it from me girl when it came to uh, just posting the clip of her singing, but this is actually drag queens live singing, you know, not lip syncing and for $250,000 for the cash prize. So let's get into everything because she is the, uh, first and only trans girl to actually participate on the show. Now, I just want to say strawberry space, trans men and women, we all know, but it's for sister and men and women, the allies of the community. I want y'all to know trans women can participate in drag as she has been in some pageants. So she has, you know, fought for her the way he'd be here. She's been in a number one of balls and she's definitely brought the house down she's representing florida and she's doing her thing so her name is giselle barbie royale let's talk about the name so um you know i felt like it was uh suitable for her to like i didn't want her to change her name and drop the barbie but i understood it you know because it's a certain time and place for everything and i just wanted it to be like as authentic and professional as possible and i just wanted that uh for her <coughs> excuse me and i'm glad that she <coughs> did that <coughs> excuse me and um you know the barbie not being in it just being just uh, where al made it believable and i'm and i feel like she was taking more seriously with that if you understand what i'm saying so um, within that, she was cunt. I mean, pussy down. Like, mama was giving realness even in the confessionals where she had no makeup on. She mentioned her boyfriend, and I felt like that was um, important to say because there's a untalked about myth and stereotype that we're just men and we're ugly. But no, girl, she got a man. And I feel like even within heterosexual community, because I remember even when I was, you know, in the social norm, of society identifying as a cisgender um homosexual man before I transition, it would always be like, you ain't got no boyfriend, you ain't got no girlfriend. What's wrong with you? She's not single. She's delectable. She's intelligent and attractive. Um, The look that she had was marvelous. I loved how it was just, you know, very classy. And um, she just did it so effortless. And she was, it wasn't like too much. It just was a little bit of pop in color. Um, There was just a lot of, you know, press going around about this. I don't like the fact that I couldn't post no clips. My clip is only like a minute, y'all. Strawberry Space, they didn't let me post it, but I, but I find it very funny how Paramount Plus used her as an advertisement. She was among, I think, other women. I think it was like maybe 10 or 12 or 14. I'm not sure. And it's just like, why did you use one of them? Because it's just like, if this is a show with drag queens competing like a like a LGBT version of Star Search or American Idol, why wouldn't you use them? Why would you use the only trans girl as the face of that? I felt like that was very telling. I also felt like, you know, she... Uh, Excuse me, I don't know what's happening with Strawberry Space. Look, I ain't got COVID, I promise. But um, I felt like it was also 
very uh telling how the Spice Girl, Mel B, one of the judges, because, you know, Leona Lewis was the first judge, but Mel B was very hard and critical of her critiques when she came up in songs. So I want to, you know, give a backstory overview because I can't really show anything. So she's shown uh, Easy On Me by Adele. Now, mind you now, there, okay, this is London. So that was, you know, the song to do because of the person. She wasn't really c- contributing, like, a tribute to Florida, being from Orlando. It was really more towards the fans because of where she was at. And Mel tore her to filth talking about, you know, you look elegant, but you shouldn't have picked that song because... If you're not going to make it your own or out sing Adele, you shouldn't have did it. And I just was like, even Michelle Visage wasn't that, you know, hardcore for her. How dare her? Why are you living for all the drag queens and just, oh, you look good. And, oh, well, I mean, you know, nice job. And, you know, well, at least you sounded great. And, you know, still just being that person to just give that positive feedback. And then as for the drag queens, but then when it comes to the only trans girl, now you got something hateful to say like she was the only person out of Vanessa Williams Trixie Mattel to really just I feel like to sprue her you know she was projecting strawberry space I told you I told you trans men and women y'all gotta watch these cisgender women of color there's a beef between uh, them and trans women of color believe you, you me because trans women I feel like speaking, you know, upon my personal experience, are always told to tone it back. Real women don't act like that. Real women don't dress like that. Real women don't have all that caked up makeup on the whole time. It's a cisgender person with the same thing. You just don't see them yet. And we're always, you know, just, you know, perfectionists and just hardly judged and just, you know, judged so crucially of, you know, real world because we're the only ones really doing it and it's just kind of like but why when it's drag queens it's so artsy it's so creative it's so fun but you know when it's a kiki and a cackle you love it when you know it's just to the imaginary and it's just you know out of this world and but when it's realistic when it's more believable you just have a hard time understanding it you won't fathom it and with biological women and trans women I feel like I, I'm woke and conscious to that as well since gentlemen and women don't think that I'm just coming for y'all. I see the double standard when it comes for trans women being overly sexualized and being okay, but when a sister and a woman does it, they're slut shame. So it's a lot going on here. The song she did, it was it was great. It was uh very, you know, classy. I felt like I didn't even know she could sing, you know, because she's definitely just promoted, you know, her body and face. You know, she's definitely a star. I hope she wins. She started off season two with a bang. Um, she was on the first episode. She definitely made her mark. Everyone loves her. Um, But, 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 I gotta say for season one, though, I really feel like Ada Fox should have won. No, just no, there's no shade to Grad Queen. Um, Aria uh, B. Cassidy was good, Betty Bitch Slap was good, the Yodeling was good, um, Jen Zilla was good. Everyone was really true talented. It's just something, Strawberry Space. I do want y'all to binge watch. My favorite on um, Witch is L on season two has been Love, Masissi, and Militia Skunt, along with Maxie. She's got some competition, but I really just feel like, you know, like I said, I reiterated again and again and again and again. As a trans girl, you definitely hear so many times like hey you know what i'm saying you know you want to go in this that that hairstyle that outfit that is a bit too loud or you know we always have to just take it back a notch and not uh, give it 110 percent of all because we're worried about upstaging somebody we're worried about you know um always looking you know you look too good or you you know you don't want to you know outstage and overdo it and then it's just like then somebody else does it takes the shine it's like oh that was my idea or you just want to fit in a society or just do just enough and it's just like somebody else can come up under you and just be revolutionary and just be like a little fashion icon and do it and it's just like i just feel like that just wasn't fair and to be honest starbase space mel's critique really like did it for me because I I don't know maybe I'm just thinking like okay you can't say nothing to a trans girl that's negative but she took it well she took it with positive criticism oh well as constructive criticism but um everything was handled well and she um is moving forward 
And again, I'm just so glad, so glad, so glad Strawberry Space. She did not get eliminated in the first episode. I just I just see a future for her. I just hope she strives. Like I said, if she comes out there looking a mess, she is a representation of our community. So she does have some big shoes to fill and, you know, high uh, spaces to uplift but she's definitely in the right market she's being celebrated she's not being exploited she's getting the representation she's getting the exposure and i live for a hundred percent i'm just so happy that you know we actually get this opportunity of what's happening right now with drag not being accepted i'm just so happy that you know she is a fighting chance and just seen in a positive light because let me tell you something strawberry space Somebody's allied ass is watching this with their girlfriend, thinking in their mind, not saying like, damn, she's hot. And it's just like, yeah, I have to come out not looking a mess. Like, I have to come out, you know, still desirable, still everything. The application is flawless. I can't just throw some powder on my face. It's the effort of it all. Noted, the other girl's makeup was, you know, fabulous and extraordinary and creative. And it is a competition. But at the end of the day, if you could do it over the top, you could do it standard. I'm not saying be basic, but I'm just saying, you know, it's just a way of how things go because it's always going to be perceived as, well, this is just entertainment. Well, it's just got to be over the top. Well, it's got to be gregarious and overzealous. And no, I mean, you know, you could, anybody could have something and take it and just be exaggerated natural but you just have to I guess know it and I'm glad she knows it and is staying in her lane I hope she thrives and child I hope she wins Miss Queen of the Universe so I um, definitely Strawberry Space encourage y'all to watch it and this has been Strawberry Space and thank you